From Betty Davis's first role as a piece of chocolate cake in the 1931 film Palmy Days to the discovery of Niagara Falls in 1996, The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On May 16, 1929, the first Academy Awards were handed out in categories such as Greatest Achievement in Blackface, Best Catholic Whipping Scene, and Most Gorgeous Gams on Abroad. The highlight of the night occurred when Wings won the award for Best Picture without a single Dago, Tar Baby, or Wetback. On May 20, 1927, American pilot Charles Lindbergh completed the world's first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean, following years of disastrous test runs with dog pilots. The young aviator's triumphant arrival in Paris was widely celebrated in America, but provided a grim reminder of the tragic deaths of American bulldogs, German shepherds, and dachshunds, all of whom flew less than 10 yards before fully losing control of their planes and crashing into nearby fields and bodies of water. One dog they tested, a golden retriever named Oscar, did manage to fly the plane 3,625 miles over the ocean, but apparently didn't know how to land because the plane overshot the tarmac and flew directly into the Arc de Triomphe. Onlookers heard a slight yelp just as the plane hit the structure. Here's an update. My colleague, Professor Eric Kaufman, did accept that position at Princeton University, whereas I have been offered nothing not even a chance to teach summer school, even though everyone knows I need the money. Here's another update. Eric, I know where you live. I know your wife's spin class schedule. I know the route your children take to school. And I know that if it comes right down to it, I will be able to squeeze tighter and tighter and tighter until the screen that's forming in your chest will have no pathway large enough to leave your mouth. All this I do know. And on May 15th, 1940, the first McDonald's opened in San Bernardino, California, back when a young Grimace was just working as a cashier. And that was what happened this week in history. As Martin Luther King Jr. once said, history is actually pretty racist.